Lack of access to credit and financial capital is often cited as a great hindrance to business establishment, growth and success on the African continent. In response to this challenge, the government in Nigeria has over the decades established a number of NDAs and financial institutions, among which is the Bank of Industry. On this episode, Talk TV engages with a state manager of the Bank of Industry so as to acquire a deep understanding of the do's and don'ts of success when one ventures to access credit interventions from the bank. Welcome, Mr. Paco Inzirabo, State Manager, Bank of Industry. I've been itching to know this Bank of Industry. How old is it now? Uh, bank of Industry will be 60 this year. 60? 60. 60 years, yes. You have been in business for 60 solid years. Wow. We do know that commercial banks have loan facilities for businesses. Uh, all the times they call them. I don't want us to go too technical. Um, what's the difference between what commercial banks do by way of loan, disbursements, interventions, funding, investments for MSMEs and large-scale industries, as it were, vis-a-vis -vis what the Bank of Industry does? Um, I would say there are a lot of similarity between what the Bank of Industry as a DFI is doing and what the commercial bank is doing. Okay. I think the area of difference would be in the, uh, the pricing of our loan and in terms of the tenor of the loan. I want to backtrack a bit because you said before you mentioned the unity is creating how you create prosperity. prosperity. You talked about organization. You are interested mm. in the organization behind yes, beh the... Yes, behind the venture, behind the behind vision. Behind the vision. Yes. How do you track that? Yeah, uh, it's very easy to track. Like I said, every vision needs an organization to, for its implementation. Yeah. So organization is... Uh, when we talk about organization, we are looking at how you are structured. Mm -hmm how uh, the, your... Organogram? Yes, your assembly of your team. Do you have run pace in run hole? Oh. Now, after the cash inventory or cash flow or the accounting, what else mm. do you look at? Um, I think in talking about the cash conversion cycle and where to plug in, I've uh, also uh, hinted on the need for you to guarantee your market. That is very key. Many people don't look at market. Who are my off takers? Who will? Who am I going to serve? That you should start your business from there. Whose pain do I feel that I want to solve? Mm. And what is the characteristics of these people? For example, somebody approached me of recent, and he said I should give him an advice. He's setting up a um, a table water factory. factory. He tend to go into carbonated drinks, juice, and all that. And he wants our loan. So, okay, what have you done? They sent me the pictures. Impressive. Hmm. But do you know what I was saying? The, the pictures, pictures of the product. The, no, the pictures of what he has built already. The factory has built already. The factory has built. I asked, is this a residential estate that you are building? He said, no, it is staff quarters. <laughs> Massive place. Residential to, quarters for the staff resi first. Residential quarters that and is it, like two premium, story. Building. Premium building. Premium building with modern roofing ties, not even uh, the aluminum long span. Mm -hmm. Long span. Is this uh, stone-coated so kind of... premium building premium for the staff. Building. Yes, for the staff. Now, he's, he has run out of front. He want to start. He want to get a loan to what buy. What about the factory? To buy. He has built the factory. He has built the factory. He has built the residential, residential quarters then for the staff. Yes, he's asking for money for the machines. So that is that has already shocked you. Are you getting it? So because most you build residential quarters for your staff, staff where you don't have machines that the you staff will work with. They will work with. At least those staffs, it's not as if they don't have houses. 
If you employ them, you already do them, them a lot of good. Couldn't you even rent, <laughs> rent accommodation? For, for an accommodation for them. So, but so they don't have the machine they will work with. Hmm. And I bet money for raw material is not is being set aside. That, it, because if you don't that. have ma money for fa machine, for machinery, you can't. You couldn't have had money for raw materials. And so what are the workers going to be doing? Okay, I said you have a very fantastic humor. A lot of thought must have gone into this uh, massive edifice. Sir, can you share your business plan with me? Hmm. Obviously, he has not thought of any business plan. No business plan. And investment of hundreds of millions is already oh. on ground. So it this, saddens me when I yes, hear stories this, like this. Uh, this is the reality. This is because many people go into venture without planning. Planning is too fundamental. It is. You don't put anything. If you want to build a house, what the government requires from you is your building plan. They don't say, show us your money. Mm -mm. So even if you don't have money, you have a plan, it's much more better than you have money and you don't have a plan. Because a plan will attract money. Mm. Mm. When I show you a better plan, you won't know when because the money people are looking for is in the pocket of human beings. True. It's in their various bank accounts. True. If I show you a plan that you know you will benefit from, that money will come out. It will. So I don't need to actually go Currency to the Currency flows it in flows. the direction of where it can be value. nurtured and yes. nourished and expanded. So if I show you a higher value, your currency flows. It flows there. It flows to a higher value. True. Coming up. Two different management teams can have two different business plans. How do you mean? So planning is critical, and in so, business, uh, and it this, must be this planning, you expect that the analytics will have been properly done by way of looking at the market that you want to sell yes. into. What are yes. the characteristics of yes. that market? Yes. What characteristics are you talking about? Can you break it down for us? Yes. You are. You are looking at. Uh, before you even come to business plan, there is yeah. what we call feasibility study. It's, it's, it's two different documents. Feasibility study is looking at this really? is the... Yeah. This, I, I thought feasibility, the, even study. me, <laughs> as, as, as deeply as I think I have interacted with contemporary business practices, yeah. I would think that feasibility is embedded within the business plan. Yes. So it, there are two different there things. There are two different Two different documents, two different activities. Look at it. One Feasibility is, study. One is called a study. Mm. The approach of creating a study is normally a research-based approach. <laughs> the other one is called a plan. Now you already know where you are going. I'm going to Lagos. So I want to use Eda Jebude or I'm using... You already know where you are going. So feasibility help you to establish the financial technical and economic viability of this project. Financial, yes. technical, and, econ and economic viability, viability. Yes. of a business. Yes. That's what the feasibility study, study encompasses. Yes. So, it, that means until you satisfy that, don't do the plan. At the stage of feasibility, you can jettison an idea. This man wants to set up a, a table water in Shaki. He has done the feasibility study. I have gone to check. Do I have... Technica, can I get water in Shaki hmm. if I need to drill a borehole? Is this possible? It could be that kind of the water. water level is so low that he does not have the technology to get to it. So why waste time? Maybe he will now think of, oh, can I get water from a nearby stream and refine it, purify from it? From a rock. Yes. So by the time you think of that, and I say, okay, the money it will cost me to purify this, will it still be economically commercially viable, viable for this product because i have spent so much pricing advantage advantage so by the time you discover hmm. that okay i can't do that the plan is the, so the, the water may be getting. available yes maybe premium water from the rocks yes and for marketing and branding purposes mm. that will be attractive that will be attractive you. but when you now look at the cost of yeah, the, the commercial water, viability you know, oh, wait a minute i'm no, not no, going no, to no. be able to compete with yeah And that's, that's, that's where the economic uh, yeah, viability, viability falls down yeah. on its face. Yeah, so the technical, yes. the uh, financial, financial, and the and economic, economic viability. viability. Once you have satisfied that, oh, 
Sorry, what? and I want to assume that the technical viability will also include available competences. Beautiful. Can technical I get com yes. personnel who are competent to deliver? Yes. People hmm. that can man the production. Oh, if you don't uh, discover that for you to run that kind of factory, you need an expatriate, you will not consider, okay, bring, in, bring an expatriate from China or from uh, or Europe. From yes, and with the security issues, he must have a policeman 247. Mm -hmm. you look policeman, at not even policeman. <laughs> <laughs> and they have to have a garrison for a residence. And yeah. they have to have armored vehicles Vehicle, to take him around. Take him around. And that's extra at cost. So you're already no. falling flat on your face yeah. in the area of technical viability. Yeah. So you put all this together, oh. you said, no, this business, I won't go into it. They so you won't even bother to do a business plan, plan because you will have been... Business plan is that I have satisfied that this thing will work here. It's mm. doable. Looking at the economic variables, the technical variables, the financial, and the financial variable. variable is doable. It's uh, desirable for me to go venture into it. Now, how will I do it? Deliver. That means... For a project that is the feasibility study, you have gotten a, a yes, two different management teams can have two different business plans. How do you mean? Yes, because we are different. If we are going to Lagos, we might not likely take the same route. I might want to go by train. Yeah. Get down at Toshodi and take taxi fire. Or, or a taxi. Or I or may bus. want to take, oh, let me first transport myself to challenge, enter their bus, he drop me at uh, Ojota, Ojota, then I now find my way. I or use, I use Uber. Or go through Ijebode. Yeah. Or as no, let me just, for convenience, uh, take um, charter taxi from my house straight to where I'm going. As long as it meets your economic, technical, and financial variability. Yes. You're good to go. So yes. the business plan mm. can be different. Yeah, the business plan can be different and it shows in details how you intend to implement your your project. Okay. What do you who will be on board? That is where you now are the uh, technical uh, economic or you are not really in detail, you are just looking at the idea as a whole. Will it work? Does mm. it make sense mm. in this environment mm -hmm. with the resources that I have? Then at the plan, you're not looking at how do I do it on a day-to-day -day basis to achieve what I've set out to do. So a business plan is required by all, irrespective of whether you're borrowing from a bank or not. You don't need. It is how you are putting your plans to paper. Mm -hmm. This is how I want to achieve this dream. Mm -hmm. You should write it down. The feasibility is the what of the yes. business. Yes. The business plan is the how, how of the business. That's it. How will I get to this destination? How will I get to this destination? And that's where... Or what is the most cost-effective way of getting to my destination? We talk about in, in uh, cost engineering, cost you effective. talk about optimization. Because yes. there are so many routes to get to your destination. So you have to optimize which route optimize my resources. Hmm. And when you talk about optimization hmm. of resources, hmm. I want to look at the business plan, you know, as something that would have helped you because you will have crunched the figures, you will have done a lot of extrapolation and juxtaposition during the construction of the business plan. Because business plan is a documentation, is a report of your research and your yeah. projections. So what are the variables that come together to form what we call a business plan, that document? Are... What will the table of content look like? Mm. The table of content to satisfy the bank yes. of industry normally and we'll, any other lender anyway. Yeah, normally we we'll look at some of the key uh, items that will be there. Will be your your um, executive summary. Mm -hmm. That is what the that's the first thing. The first thing. A one break, page. Yes, a one page summary. Yes. View of. So we want to see. And that one page will talk about the value proposition. Would have said oh, this is the problem. In the society, this is the solution I'm proffering, and this is how I intend to achieve this. Then you give, you speak to the numbers. Okay. If we embark on this, because that you are trying to sell your idea to people, yeah. you must show the benefit. This what it will cost, and these are the benefit. So with that, you are through with your executive summary. So that's the value proposition. Yeah, your value proposition. Then how you tend to achieve it, the cost, what it will cost you to achieve it. 
and the benefit, which is talking about your cash flow projections. Okay. Or you, have, you can talk about your return on investment. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that it makes it juicy and attractive to people. So yeah, you don't just uh, bore people with, I will spend this, I will spend this, I will spend it. <laughs> you must tell them the icing or the cake. What if we After go we have this expended all of this, uh, this, this is what will come in over this over period. a period of time. Market analysis is very is very critical. Where you look at, oh, you have talked about the value proposition. Uh, though it's in the business plan, you should have a special session for it. Yeah. Where you talk about your value proposition, that means you are in details telling this is the problem in the society. This is the pain point that I want to address. Yeah. This is how I want to go about it. This is the product this offering or the service that I want to yes. Then to show that oh, what is the size of market are we looking at? Because you can be talking of a solution that. If we invest in the next uh, one year, we are home and dry. It's over. Mm. So you want to do that is where you could talk about market analysis. How many people are already addressing this? So that's the competition. Yes. It is within your market analysis. You are talking about the supply and the demand gap. Mm -hmm. So for this problem exists, there are a number of competitors that are already supplying. Yeah. But despite all that they are doing, there is still a gap. They are not able to meet all meet. the demand. Mm. That is why I am still coming in. Oh, this segment of the market yes. is underserved. It's, yes. So that I, is, know, I know that they are serving the market well, but there is yeah, segment this segment that yes. I want to move in. There. Yes. That is, we call it the supply and demand gap. You must be able to establish that you see a gap in the market. And that you have capacity that, to fill yeah, that gap. Yeah, you have capacity to fill it. So that gap you have discovered must be very specific. You must be very specific. very specific. What gap have you? Who do you, who are the underserved that you want to serve? Whose pain are you? Want? For example, uh, there are things that are not available in some part of the. Let's use the burden for example. Yeah. There are things that are not available, but that are available in Lagos. True. So you now say, okay, I want to make these services available. In Ibadan. In Ibadan. Yes, they have been enjoying this service, but they have to travel to Iba uh, Lagos. Lagos to, to get it. Yes. So that is why I want to establish here. But in trying to establish here, you must also know the characteristics of people in Ibadan. How they want to be served. How they want to be served. There are some people you may be very surprised, they don't like cheap things. So you may discover from your uh, research market research that, look, if I bring something cheap, they will always think cheap is fake. They so even if I, I could have served them at 100 Naira, I'll put it at a premium of 200. That is when they will accept me. Mm -hmm. But there are some that want rock bottom prices. It must be the cheapest in town. So market research will show that. Market research will show you the and market research, I reckon, also will reveal mm. who your competitors are. Ah, that, that is why I talk about the competition stuff. is. Yes. Because uh, a lady once told me that in a business plan, in putting together mm. a business plan, you must be able to identify who your competitors are uh -huh. and who your competition is. is. <laughs> that there are two I, different things. I like that. I want to hear that. The and competition. She, she, she said, for example, if you sell like um, Coca-Cola, for instance, yes. for those who would take it for quenching their thirst, your competitors are those who sell table water, sachet water, uh, iced water, mm. those who sell beer, cold mm. beer, mm. those are your competition. I mean, those are your competitors. competitors. Mm. Because anything that can quench that test, mm. whoever provides that is it's a competitor. competitor. But your competition are those other beverages, mm. the Biggie Colas, the Coca-Colas, and the Pepsi Colas. Because if my price strategy is mm. not favorable to the consumer he may mm. defer his desire to drink coke at, uh, to drink cola drink mm. at that time to say okay let me just mm. go for water okay. and quench my test okay that it's way like, you have so lost from that from the set. angle of like the substitution a substitution. substitute product exactly can be your competition can be your competition so Interesting. your business plan uh, mm. research would also have revealed that obviously by way of market analysis obviously and then i also obviously. reckon that you would I've also been able to come up with a marketing strategy that mm. will help you achieve market penetration and expansion. Yeah. 
and that should also be detailed in the yeah. uh, business plan. Mm -hmm. And then so branding, see, branding mm. will also come in under the yes. markets yeah, uh, uh, analysis, marketing analysis. And when you talk of distribution and sales, will also come in because selling. Um, for certain products, mm. your distribution strategy is much more important than your selling strategy. Very correct. And for certain products, your branding strategy is much, much more important than your sales strategy. And for certain products, your marketing strategy, mm. the holistic, the total mm. marketing strategy is mm. far, far more important than your sales strategy. Mm. Whereas for some, mm. you don't need to bother yourself about branding. You don't need to bother yourself so much about distribution issues, but you only need to bother yourself about sales strategy issues. Uh, and it is in the process of your research to put together your business plan that, you that all of these will yes, be identified. That is Fantastic. It. So you, you see that running a successful business is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a 24-hour yes. work. And going by what we said earlier, it's not a venture that one man should undertake. Because your business plan will also reveal your team. Yeah. The it's vocation, good, yes. the division you of You can't labor. be good in all these aspects. No, you can't be good in all these aspects. But what about those who say that these are part of the hindrances or encumbrances? That I'm a fresh graduate, for instance. Yes. I want to be an entrepreneur. Yes. I don't have funds. I don't have resources. Mm. Before Bank of Industry or other lending agencies will take me serious. Mm. They want to look out for these team members. Mm. And I don't have the funds to even hire them. So going back to my strategy for those fresh graduates, yeah. I said they should look at apprenticeship and salesmanship. Yep. So if they were going to take the salesmanship approach, yeah. so you know that you are not starting all out having a massive team or organization. Mm. You are just fitting into the already established value chain yep. of a, uh, a larger enterprise. Yeah. So for example, let's use, uh, you are into uh, Amobin, yeah. have this uh, nut noodle products. So you are just buying their chicken and you are selling. I'm with you. Yeah, in that, in that way, you see that you, are, you don't need to uh, employ so many people. You have reduced the kind of work you do. You have narrowed it down. You are just selling. So you and are you the head of your... don't need to invest your, into warehouse. Yeah, you don't need to invest into Because you buy what you can sell. Yeah, you buy what you can sell. You, the only is to identify the market and uh, satisfy the market. Coming up. If it is a winning and unable customer, we restructure the loan. Mm. So and you can... see the picture anyway yes, from the see. accounting analytics. That is it. Wow. So transparency is very, very important in banking, customer, uh, banking relationship. So that could be a strategy. That is a strategy you start with. And I, I want to chip that. in also that another mm. strategy could be for you to have mentors, people who could, and also leverage on your social relationships. Very Everybody important. has a relative who is a lawyer mm. or an mm. accountant mm. or somebody who is a marketing or branding expert. You could leverage on those relationships. So if you don't have financial startup capital, mm. you could leverage on social capital. And that's, that, could, that could help you at least to launch out. We, we introduced the concept of social capital in our secret, securitization. Securitization. Yes, that means for your loans. You know, you must have to secure your loan with us. Okay. Yeah. How does that Traditionally, work? you need to pledge uh, mortgages. We take land and building mm -hmm. and we have a legal mortgage on them. Collaterals. Collaterals. So, but for loans up to 10 million in Bank of Federal, because we want to, uh, to encourage startups and MSMEs that are within that uh, uh, catchment. Yeah, catchment. We, we allow them to secure their loans with social capital, guarantors, mm. people that can vouch for their integrity. Mm. Mm. Particularly in, um, across 
the 36 states, we have relationship with not uh, fewer than 24 state uh, governments. They have put in money, we call it a matching fund. A matching? Matching fund. Bank of Industry have series of matching funds with different state governments. We even mm -hmm. have with other high network individuals like the Dangote. We have a Dangote fund. Really? Which is like a... Uh, they place that lodgement. Yes. Their own money. Their own money, but they ask Bank of Industry to match it. So, like, for example, giving an example of your state. Or your state have put in 500 million, and Bank of Industry is matching it with another 500 million. Making 1 billion. Making 1 billion. So, and individuals can, MSMS, mm -hmm. irrespective of whether they are indigenous of the state or not. As long can, as they are within the geographical yes, area. Yes, within or your state, can actually borrow up to 50 million at 5% interest rate per annum. Really? Yes, and up to 10 million, they can secure such um, loans. They can take up to 50 million, 50 million at 5% per annum. Over a 35 year period. Yeah, over a 35 years. Then up to five, 10 million, no landed property. Wow. They just go and give us civil servants in all your state. So two million, one civil servant. Five million to five million, two civil servants. Up to ten million, three civil servants. These are people that can just vouch for you. And for so the they, ten, they, they, that would be like bond. Yes, the no, civil servants will come and serve as guarantors. Guarantors, yes. And they, I mean, I reckon they have to be civil servants that have been in service for a little while, and who have proven themselves to be men of integrity. Yeah. No. So that's securitization of yeah. your loan. Virtually all civil servants are qualified. All. But we say senior civil servant from level seven. Okay. And above. Can serve as guarantors. Yeah, serve as guarantors to MSMEs within Oyo State. In no, other the civil state, servants have to come from Oyo State as well. No, they have to come from Oyo State. Okay. In other states, we have, uh, you can provide civil servants or you can provide professionals, bankers, lawyers. Uh, architects, engineers, mm. and doctors, they can serve as and people that own their own businesses. Okay. Yes. Existing entrepreneurs. Yes, exactly. Existing entrepreneurs that you have relationship, we can also guarantee their loans. So, so this is what we have done to actually make uh, access to this fund. Yes, thing. because we we reckon that it's not everybody that uh, have uh, landed property. <laughs> Most people don't even have. They don't have, and in place in places or a situation where they have, they don't have the right title document. CFO is still a major challenge and uh, in the ease of doing business is always flagged. Mm. So states that have been able to uh, reduce the uh, bottlenecks yeah. in uh, obtaining CFOs, they are ranked higher in the ease of doing business report by the World Bank. Okay. Mm. So State so, government so this is one way. Yeah. And I like the fact that you've been able to mm. point out to us that yeah. there are ways around this startup capital thing, mm. this uh, collateral requirement thing, securitization. Um, what happens if the loan um, beneficiary is not able to meet up with the terms of repayment or if there's a default? In every human endeavor, and when you make a plan, you don't always expect that it will work the way that you have set out. Mm. So we already have envisaged that things can go wrong, and things do go wrong. Things do go wrong. That's life. That is life. So for, but one thing I want to um, advise would be borrowers, or if you are enjoying any uh, credit facility in any bank. Yeah. Ensure you maintain a good relationship with your credit officers. Okay. A good relationship in the sense that let them be your best pal, your best friend. If you have challenge in your business, they are the first to, to know. know. If it is also good, let them be the first to know. If there are times you can pay above what you were scheduled to pay, mm. pay. When you don't also can't pay, they will understand. Because you have built a goodwill. You have, yes. So that is so very your debt profile also matters. Yes. So we have uh, in banking we normally talk about three category of customers. We have the willing and able. They are your best customers. They are willing to pay you mm -hmm. and they are able to pay. Mm -hmm. Then we have the willing and unable. They are willing. How do you show they are willing? It's because of 
track that record with you. Yes, over time. Over time. Yeah, they have paid over time, but sometimes things happen beyond their control. True. Yeah, they are willing and able. Those are the candidates we slot for restructuring. Yeah, that's the second category. Yes, we'll say no. This, since you are willing and you are able, you are willing and you are unable, let's look at how to solve what makes you unable. Mm -hmm. If we resolve it, we know you'll be able to pay us back. So that is when we talk about restructuring of the terms and condition of the initial loan. Okay. Let's change it to suit you. And that's where your business advisory responsibility Concept. will also come in. Yes. Then we now have the unwilling <laughs> and but, able. But able. They, are will, they are unwilling. They have the money to pay you. These are the guys that think they are smart. They have taken your money. They are making money. But instead of paying back, they are looking or they are seeing other opportunities. That they can plow yeah, the money. Oh, I can put the money here. Yeah. Why should I pay the bank? Let them wait. Let me turn around this money in this venture. And that's, and that's why collaterals and securitization comes in. That's yes. where it comes in. Yeah. So, so the man who helps you to secure the loan, mm. the civil servant, for instance, yes. uh, is he liable in any way? I mean, that sounds is. like a dumb he, question. But he is. For, I, I don't like for this assume. third category that are un, unwilling mm. but able, then we foreclose on him. You foreclose on the foreclose meaning that, yes, we foreclose first on the company okay. to repay our loan. Okay. If we are not able to get all our loans back, then we fall back on the on the guarantor. The guarantor have to pay okay. the debtedness because that is what you are essentially guarantee mm -hmm. that in default I should be held liable. So the third one is unwilling and unable. That is too bad for any mm -hmm. consumer. Unwilling and unable. And unable. Yes, you. There, you, you, we normally say that it was an appraisal error. Okay. Yes. When you were booking that mm -hmm. loan, you should have known that this man was not qualified for the loan. So the credit officer did not spot that on time. Mm. He should have been able to tell that this customer has issues. He's unwilling and he doesn't even have capacity. capacity it's too to bad pay. a case. A good appraiser. So that's like bad debts. Yes. Good appraiser will spot most of those customers. Well, uh, securitization. Are there mm. other information you might want to share with us? Yes. For, as, for I've said because that. Because I'm sure many of above, our startups out there will be interested in yeah. how they can bypass these collateral demands. Mm. Yeah. I've said that below 10 million, yeah. 10 million and below, we use this social capital. Uh, uh, strategy and but above 10 million you need to provide us either a landed property or a bank guarantee okay BOI work closely with commercial banks okay uh, we work closely with commercial How banks does the bank guarantee because we don't work? see them as they are not our competitors mm -hmm. uh, they are not our competitors they are they actually are like complementary yes they are uh, partners in progress so and we always like to work with them because they actually can see the head of the customer that we finance more than we do because bank of industry does not is not a deposit money bank mm. people don't keep their deposit with us so when we give you fund by way of buying machines mm -hmm. and equipment for you it's we don't keep your money with yeah you have bank. to keep your money with commercial bank. we don't see how you are running your business so when they partner with us in, by providing bank guarantee they are able to monitor closely this customer so they the know banks will guarantee yes, that, the, the yes, loans. The loans. In some cases, when they do guarantee, the customer have to provide collateral to the banks. Beyond the fact that they have checked through the turnover mm -hmm. of the bank and they have discovered that it's very good. Okay. Uh, they won't, so they won't want if, to. If there's default, mm. the banks will come in. Yes, to if there's the default. Bank of industry there. And what that means is that the banks will feel a pressure to monitor, to monitor, yes, <laughs> to monitor you to closely, monitor. Yes. so that you don't run them into yes. financial. Smart mess. when uh, our cost SME friendly banks, what they do is that when they notice that something is going wrong, they mm. quickly call on us, and we have a tripartite meeting with the customer. Okay. That's okay. This customer is having this issue. If it is a willing and unable customer. We restructure the loan. Mm. Oh, this customer, uh, something happened. His um, turnover dipped. He is not able to service uh, payment of five million every month. Yes. So 
uh, for the next three months, can we allow him to do three million? So and that you'll can... see the picture anyway yes, from the see. accounting analytics. That is it. Wow. So transparency is very, very important in banking, customer, uh, banking relationship. Okay. Before yes. we move on to other things, mm. are there other information that we may need to push out there by way of securitization of loans? Aside these three you've mentioned for us. Yeah, those are the basic, uh, basic three ones. we do. Uh, but you can be innovative. Any customer, any mm. customer could be innovative. Some mm. people have put some money in a treasury bees. Their own personal money. Money. They have invested in treasury bees. And, and they, they want to do... And they bring the certificate. Yes, they, we can put a lien on, on treasury bees. So there are so many. We also do third party collateral. Really? Yes, that means. Third party collateral? Yeah, that I don't have a collateral, yeah. but my friend has a collateral. Or my father or my spouse. Or my father, yes. We can, we can take that. Really? As yeah. long as that person is willing to He's sign. He's willing to sign, it. yes. What about those who might want to hide, not hide now, let me not use the word hide, who might want to put themselves under the umbrella of an association, like a professional oh, it, body? Okay. Or a civic body like their church or mosque mm, okay and uh, the professional association or the mm. civic body like the church wants mm. to guarantee or mm. maybe the town association for instance wants to guarantee the loan is that acceptable it's it's, it's always acceptable but uh, the bank the onus is on the bank to be sure uh what is actually the uh will i is it the viability or the validity of such guarantee? Umbrella body. Yes. Maybe uh, like the old old what, boys association of yeah. the secondary school now. And on what comfort? And they come together to what, form. what comfort are they giving the bank? It's not just enough to say, okay, we will guarantee. Guarantee. Yeah, there must be a comfort. There is something that the bank will see and say, that yes. That gives you reassurance. The, the reassurance that this will happen that because of their weight that this person is not going to misbehave or they are able to help this person out in time. In, in case death. of default, yes. that they can pay back. Yes. For example... So if, that's acceptable, yes. provided you can see the comfort yes. and you can see that there is a capacity for Obviously. them to meet up with the Obviously. obligation required Obviously. should this happen. For example, if um, we are financing a customer and he's a supplier to a big firm, mm. So we'll, we are providing him facility yeah. so that he's able to process products to supply to a flower me, for example. Mm -hmm. And the flower me is guaranteeing us that because they are the one to pay him, mm -hmm. they are guaranteeing us that they will pay. Because they are in control of the money, mm -hmm. the payment, that is what we call corporate guarantee. Yeah. You can get a corporate guarantee. In whatever that guys. also helps. Yes, we can. We so, can. so it's really not casting mm. concrete. No, if the long as you need provide to comfort. Be creative, yes, you need to be you are creative. So, yes, if you yeah. have a record of performance, for instance, if you've been working in a farm mm. uh, that supplies a brewery, mm. uh, some of the products that they use in their production, and you have a relationship with that, you can resign your employment based on your pedigree and antecedent as somebody who understands the technicalities of the business and sign a contract with a brewery that over the next 10 years you are going to supply us these specs this specification of wheat and grain and then you can take that mou to the bank of industry to request for a loan and from that loan you can now set up your farm and with that farm you can grow and sell and plow back your investment Fantastic. Yeah, such 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 um, innovation is always welcome, especially in the agricultural value chain, where we emphasize on market approach. On market yes, approach, you must have secured your How market. How do you mean by market? Yes, approach? Yes, what you have just described that you have been able to get an off taker uh, who is giving you that assurance and there is MOU that have been signed. So you have secured your market before we are investing. So that is the market approach. That is what we always advise anybody that wants to invest in the agricultural value chain. Please look at the market first. Who will be the uptaker? It's not just enough to say many people will uptake. <laughs> there are a lot of demand. No. Or to say, oh, people must eat now. Yeah. Uh, no. they, are, they will buy food. Go and sign the dotted line with somebody that is going to uptake from you. 
and not just only signing the dotted line, the person must have a stake. How can you get him to have a stake? Because you have come to him, he should be able to tell you exactly the specification of what to plant, sure. how to plant it. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to get a seedling from him, mm -hmm. it's even better. So that you are planting to his specification. specification. So there's no rejection. Yeah, there and is there's no, no yes. error of margin. That's it. Wow. What about these days we have developers all over the mm. place? Does BOI fund oh, as it real estate? Of real estate? No. We don't fund real estate. Uh, the one way that you could uh, easily tell what we we'll fund is that there is a product. Okay. A product that can be on the shelf any day, any time. Yeah, but and that you can replicate. But the developers will tell you the buildings are the products they sell. I know, I know, but we don't find like to, to construct a housing estate. Mm. For instance, for instance, if I'm able to get three um, cooperatives mm. of maybe in Ibadan, let's use Ibadan for example. Mm. UI, the Polytechnic Ibadan, UCH, mm. and uh, perhaps maybe Leeds City, their staff, perhaps maybe they have cooperative societies. And I'm able to get an MOU from those four cooperative societies mm. that I should build an housing estate. Mm. I've already done the drawing and everything, the 3G design, and they've signed an MOU that their members mm. would buy into it. Can't I bring those MOUs to BOI to fund such a project? Uh, because Still we, talking about creativity, though. Yeah, we are, uh, you see, the uh, Bank of Industry is not meant to solve or to address all the critical areas of this Yeah, country. but that's housing needs, socioeconomic yes. Yes. impact mm -hmm. is there. For your information, it will, uh, it will be interesting for you to know there are other like six other development finance institutions in Nigeria. So it's not just Bank of Industry. Yeah, but today we're talking we are, about... Yes. We're sitting down with Bank of Industry Yes, today. because it's a government-owned bank, the government also understands division of labor. True. So we have Bank of Agriculture, for example. Bank of Agriculture. That takes care of primary production. Primary production. Yes, yes, of food. Mm -hmm. Where Bank Not of Industry... The chain, yes, but the farm. Where Bank of Industry focuses on the processing of those produce coming up what are the metrics with by which you track potential of scale in a business proposition the success of a business is a function of the size of the community the businessman is willing and able to serve We have infrastructure bank. Infrastructure bank. That takes care if you want to build railway, mm -hmm. build uh, house. Social infrastructure. Yes. Roads, bridges. Yes. We have Nigerian Export and Import Bank. That okay for manufacturers that want to export, uh, export their products. Yes. They finance them. Because you can finance, you can produce. It's not the same day you are going to get your money. Mm -hmm. You need a bank that there's can... There's a window. Yes, yeah, there's a window. So cash conversion cycle... The cycle is longer. Comes it's constant. So you need a bank that will uh, that specializes on that. So we have Nigeria Export... Import Bank. Import Nexium. Bank. Yes, Nexium. So we have the new DBN, Development so Bank of Nigeria. DBN. Yes, which is a wholesale development bank. That is the only wholesale development bank. Isn't development bank. an amorphous concept? Uh, well, uh, but it will just give uh, perspective to what they do. Uh, the Development Bank of Nigeria is a wholesale development bank. Bank of Industry is a retail development bank. Mm -hmm. Retail mm -hmm. meaning that we deal with projects and customers directly. Mm -hmm. Project we can find out. Project. Yeah, I project. understand. So DBN does not do that. The middleman. Yes, yeah, they provide fund to also, banks, yeah. to retail banks. They can provide funds to Bank of Industry, to Bank of Agri, to mm -hmm. whatever. And they can also provide bank, uh, funds to microfinance banks, to commercial banks. Oh, really? So banks are their or financial houses. So they are like middlemen? Yes. Like, uh, they are like the CBN. Wholesalers, yeah. Yes, but it's just that they are focused on 
in so, different so the generation. example I gave, or let me mm. not say example, the illustration I gave about developers, yes. their own will be better suited if they go to mortgage banks. Yes. You didn't mention that, but... Federal Mortgage Bank federal mortgage is also bank. a DFI. So these are some mm. of the things that make your loan application to fall flat on its face. Perhaps you've been knocking on the wrong door. Door, yeah. I mean, for example, if I have interest in developing a housing estate and I'm knocking at the door of Bank of Industry, mm. my loan will fall flat. Okay, but what is interesting about Bank of Industry is that if you look at the banking in the um, construction industry, yeah, building construction, yeah, everything, it's a chain the, as well. everything they building, we can finance it. Yeah. Because it's a chain. Yeah. So if we have a small company that is doing the blocks, we can finance block mm -hmm. industry. If you want somebody that can the finance roofing sheet. the roofing sheet, we can finance that. We can finance the overall building the ACs, the fan, the ties. We have most of our customers again, that are doing ties. Again, you're mm. advising me <laughs> that instead of me looking at the holistic concept yes. of a developer, mm. I could just look at the chain yes. and plug myself that's it. Onto a unit. Yeah. No, but what, you, but what you have said, that business model is quite creative. And what, you still need one person to coordinate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So it's for you to assemble. Yeah. To be the assembly plant. Yes. We want to embark on The assembly this. plant and the marketer. Yeah. You want to embark on this uh, kind of model. I will now have to bring in a block industry guy. Yeah. yeah. And say, look, we'll do this thing together. I will arrange finance for you. I can introduce you to Bank of Industry. All the blocks and whatsoever kind of that I will need. need, you are going to, uh, you will now be the off-taker. Off-taker for that person. For that person. So you are providing guarantee for his, the loan he will take from us. For building yes. 500 units of houses. Yes. Which will be taken by UCH cooperatives, UI yeah. cooperatives, protecting about the cooperatives, it. immediately we, we that, deliver. That is how development is. So stakeholder concept is coming of, back. Yes. You keep bringing these concepts <laughs> back it. because we keep going back yes. to them. So I can now go to another person whose own specialization is the POPC. POP, yes. And say, look, we're going to form a consortium of companies. Beautiful. That's the right word. I will be off takers for your POP ceiling. Mm. I'll be off takers for you uh, that will do the roof. Mm. I'll be off takers for you. you know, and at the end of the day, BI will, will finance those. Oh, yes. And then I will coordinate this and period. take it off them and take my money from the cooperative societies. What we've been able to do is uh, uh, we have gone into the working, the tunnel working orientation of the bank. So that if anybody wants to approach the bank, you must speak somebody's language to get his money. You must speak a person's language, language. to get that person's money. money. So if you know how somebody thinks and you begin to speak his language, his tendency, the probability of <laughs> getting a yes from the person is higher. It's very high. I think we just summarized <laughs> the essence of what we've been discussing since mm. morning. Mm. You want your application to yeah. be successful with the Bank of Industry Industrial. or any other intervention financing agency. Mm. You need to first go and research Search. what are their language yes. needs, mm. what are their comfort yes. needs, what are their interests, what are their interests. Then and then you can now design yourself serve. to reflect that back that to them. It. It's like that somebody who is looking to court a lady. A lady. <laughs> you need to find out what the value system of that, that lady, lady is. Mm. You know, when you do your research and you find out what mm. the value system of that lady is, then you have done about 70% of the work that is required, provided provided you are able to reflect those values to her anyway, successfully <laughs> and convincingly. Oh, yeah. Now, before we close, um, there is something that I, I'm assuming uh, will be of interest also to the Bank of Industry and other lending finance intervention organization, which is scale, scale volume okay. of scale. Okay. Um, I mentor quite a number of young entrepreneurs. And uh, when they bring their proposal to me, mm. most times I say, what is the potential of scale in this business? Mm, mm. The investor is interested in scale. Yeah. Yeah, despite not the days of little the beginning. beginning. Mm. Definitely. Mm. But the investor is not ready to stay in that little beginning mm. for long. Mm. He wants to start small with you, yeah. 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 But he wants to say in 18 months, mm. 
I want to have moved from producing 60 shoes, 60 mm. pairs of shoes per week, mm. to you producing yeah. 5,000 pairs of shoes. Yeah. And that in two weeks, those mm. 5,000 pairs of shoes will have left the warehouse mm. and they will have come back mm. by way of revenue. Mm. So, is that important to BOA too? BOI too? If, if and how do, you how do you track? What are the metrics with, by which you track potential of scale in a business proposition? Okay, I think um, I've, I've said it before, that the success of a business is a function of the size of the community that the businessman is willing and able to serve. Willing and able to service. Which goes back to the market. What is the market size? So when you are talking of scale, you cannot scale outside your market. Mm -mm, you can't. Yes. Yeah. So if I've discovered that there's a gap in this type of shoe, people yeah. need this kind of type of shoe in Ibadan, and they also need it in Kaduna, in Sokoto, and in uh, Port Harcourt, and I have one million potential buyers in Ibadan, so I can already see the scale that we yeah. can scale across the nation. Yeah. We can serve, meaning scaling means you can serve a huge, a larger size community, mm -hmm. which is our market. Mm -hmm. But the next thing will be, what is the capacity? Capacity to, to deliver, be able to meet. To deliver. On how do you serve one, if one million people are demand this shoe, what has this man got to be able to meet, to meet their needs? Demand. This issue is very important. You so see, your growth potential. Yeah, your growth potential. And is which a function is all about of the market size, size and your own capacity your own capacity to deliver yeah so you see a lot of artisans tailors mechanics they are always store they end up in one store forever but the number of cars ah. are they not growing the number of cars are growing but the number of cars they can repair in a day is limited they cannot do 100 cars in a day no as a one man you can yes. only service yeah. X number of cars. By and day. this is also very peculiar to Africans. We like the native doctor mentality, native doctor approach. Native doctor yes. approach. Yes. Native doctor <laughs> approach is that I know it, I keep it to myself because this is what makes me relevant. Nobody should know it the way I know it. So you are limited for Instead life. of democratizing. Yes. So and even. You are limited as an individual. I am trained as an engineer and I wrote a poem of recent. I said, for the doctors, they hide knowledge. When they write prescription on you, you can hardly read it. Yeah. They are still following the native doctor approach. Native doctor uh, approach. For the lawyers, they also hide knowledge. Mm. They will write it, make it very verbose. language. They want to write one agreement, they will write 20 pages. Legalist language. How many times have you read those terms and conditions online? You yes. can't. You just scroll to the yes. end and, <laughs> and because it's too long. Yeah. They are hiding certain crucial things. If they don't do it in a verbal style, they do it in fine print. Fine print. Very thin line. It. But in an engineer, we, we give out our designs in summary and detailed drawings. Precise details. Yeah, so that anybody that is serious-minded can take that drawing and replicate it. The Western world and to a large the, extent the Asians, they've democratized the information. They write and that's why you see a lot of how to, how to, how to, yeah. Once somebody is able to come up with a come technique up. that helps something faster, it pushes it online. That is it. It leaves it for people, that is other it. people to. You use. can be sure what we are discussing here. Some people have no need, they don't want to share it with the world. Many people know this and <laughs> they don't want to share. What is jello with this for decades? <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why we have this program yes. so that we can bring information out. To people and there are a can, lot of things to we can take a deep dive. I mean, how many how, how to, many how, how many to, how many young graduates today know mm. that securitization of loans mm. is possible? Yeah, and there's there are flexibility. And people are suffering in silence. Yeah, there are flexibility when to enter into a value chain. So there are so many things that mm. when you know how to share what you already know, the truth is that once you share what you already know, you are hungry for more. That's so growth continues. So you keep expanding. But when you don't share what you already know, you are limited. You yourself, you don't have hunger. But if I tell you, for example, everything I've shared today, I need to go and research more. Mm -hmm. If we are going to have another program, I know I cannot share this the same, same thing. Are you getting it? Yeah. That is the beauty of sharing. So documentation mm. is critical yes. to success in today's business. And those are part of the mm. major criteria mm. 
that the Bank of Industry and most other lenders also look out for. Mr. Araba, we're mm -hmm. going to have to bring you back here mm -hmm. someday, you know, because there's so much that we need to unearth, you know, from these processes mm -hmm. to help our people. But our time is far spent now. I want to appreciate you for making time out of your busy schedule to be here to share with us this information that I believe very strongly will be very usable and beneficial to our startups and those who are intending startups and those who have been prevaricating over the years mm. you know, because we have intending startups as well as procrastinative startups <laughs> out there and these are some of the yeah. ways by yeah. which we want to galvanize them to action. Yeah. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Femi Padola. Thank you for the coming pleasure. on the program. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. And on that note, we'd like to call it wraps on the program today after a very long session, I must say. Thank you so very much for spending part of your time with us. Until we we'll come your way next time, it's bye for now.